Uh, excuse me. If I drop by the house sometime and I say, let's go out to dinner. Let's go. I know a terrific sushi place. Would your reaction be, oh, wait, isn't that that raw fish? And I don't understand what the <laughs> names are. And, uh, let me introduce you to somebody who lives his entire professional life with sushi and sashimi and all of those things. <laughs> David Miles, that's right, of the famous Miles family, the natives of Kyoto. <laughs> do, you, do you get a lot of static in the kitchen because of the fact that you obviously have no Japanese heritage at all? I don't know. It's hidden deep down in there somewhere, I think. <laughs> <laughs> or you could make up a story. Oh, yeah. You always have to make up a story. We're chefs. Okay. We, we embellish 90% of the time. Where does a non-Asian guy like David Miles learn to do those exotic dishes? Uh, from our sushi chefs. We have very, very talented, um, you know, Japanese, Chinese, Burmese, all over the world. Well, you're lucky that you've got a staff like that. You better tell everybody where the staff hangs out. <laughs> you gotta, you got to search low and high for sushi men nowadays. Well, when you're talking about your place, though, this is your opportunity to invite the audience over to your place. Where is it? Where do you hang out? So we're right off uh, Camelback and Scottsdale Road. Uh, we're located inside the W Hotel. We've been there for about 12 years now. And the W, uh, just off Scottsdale Road uh, on Camelback. You can't miss the hotel and you can't miss uh, Sushi Roku. Uh, but also, you'll not be able to miss David because he's the executive chef there. Uh, when you're talking about the myths, the mistakes, the misunderstandings that people have if they're not familiar with Japanese cooking, is the raw fish the first thing that they ask about? Yeah, of course, because you're always curious if you don't know, you know, and we do also do a lot of hot food. So, you know, for that for that person that is hesitant on sushi, we do have a lot of other offerings. Let's talk about the terminology now. Uh, sushi, okay. sashimi, nigiri. What are those? So nigiri translates to two fingers, and it's essentially the method used to create nigiri back in the days. Nigiri is a tiny ball of rice with about a, just about an ounce of fish right on top, and it's shaped. We, we use minimal rice because our style is to showcase the quality of fish. And you have to know how to operate chopsticks in order to be welcome at Roku. <laughs> no, we have a... We have silverware as well. We have the little chopstick helpers that uh, assist my son every time he comes in. Uh, listen, this is one of those things that I've always thought of as an opportunity to educate people so that they can have a better time. I also noticed a term when I was out there the last time that I wasn't familiar with, robata. What is that? So robata is a Japanese style street food originally. Um, it started with uh, using this very special charcoal. It's called Bichochan. It's uh, the purest charcoal in the world. It heats to 1,000 degrees. It's made from the roots of oak trees. Uh, it's compressed. And robata is the skewer style of food, of street food in, J in Japan that you would eat on the streets there. Uh, listen, David, I've been told that if I dare to order a California roll, if I'm in Japan, they'll kick me out of the country because it just simply is one of those super non-Asian kind of foods. Uh, is that true? Is it corny to order a <laughs> California roll? No, it's not bad. But if you order a California roll tempura fried, then they probably would kick you out for that. <laughs> <laughs> Once you start frying sushi, that's when you get in a little bit of trouble. What's your favorite dish from Japan? Oh, man, that's really hard. I really like the collar. Um, as chefs, you know, we always enjoy, I think, the uh, less delicate pieces as we're breaking down fish and we're really utilizing the quality fillets for our guests. Uh, the, the 
collar is something, you know, right around, right below the head area that is really well baked, um, has great flavor, um, is just not utilized. Okay, this is it. You get to invite everybody out to your place. Where is it located? So we're at, uh, right on the corner of Camelback and Scottsdale, like I said, inside the W Hotel, 7277 East Camelback Road. Sushi Roku, you can't miss it. There's a big W on a hotel at the same location. David Miles. Absolutely. I'm glad we got a chance to introduce you to everybody watching. Thank you, Ted. Appreciate the time.